Hey, Black Cat Studio here with patch notes 3.22b. So, these are the first patch notes for Trial of the Ancestors, and they've had some decent improvements to the League mechanic itself, which is good because it kind of needs it. Not too badly, but it needs it. So let's dive right into it. Trial of the Ancestors mechanic. Player flasks are now refilled at the end of each match. Good. Increase the amount of favor earned from sponsors for winning as the tournament progresses. Good, that will help. Navali now provides 500 favor upon losing a match, previously 250. Very good, because that prevents you from snowballing. Reduce the damage dealt to minions from some warrior skills, particularly on those that minions can't reasonably avoid. Warriors in the escort position can now decide to channel on an enemy ancestral totem from further away. Good. Improve the visual for when you are interrupted while banishing an enemy ancestral totem. Very good. The debuff is currently quite small and in the top left hand corner of your screen. It would be good if people could see that a bit better. I have been okay with it, but it's not amazing. So that's good. And some controller improvements. General changes. So I found the first general change kind of funny. <laughs> a change made at the league start inadvertently fixed behavior with the spacing of spell cascade with skills that have an additional radius modifier such as curses which gained a large amount of additional radius as the gems leveled up we have reinstated the old behavior only for curses for the remainder of the league this incorrect behavior will be fixed in 3.23 so the next league that is good i appreciate them reinstating the old behavior even if it's wrong just because people have made their builds already. A lot of people have at least. And it's kind of cruel if someone has spent money building around something and they put in everything they have and suddenly their build just doesn't work anymore. Or they've been planning something for a while and it just doesn't work. Especially with a bug that's been long standing. So I'm really glad to see that they've reinstated the incorrect behavior for the league just so that people will have a chance to fix things for the next league in their builds. Forbidden Sanctum. The modifiers that duplicate random offer rewards upon defeating the Herald of Scourge on the Hour of Divinity and the Gilded Chalice Unique Relics have been re-enabled. They can drop once again. Bug fixes! Fixed a bug where ancestral totems could be untargetable when revived. This was ass when you're in a trial match and they just go untargetable for a little while. I've had it happen numerous times, it is really a problem. Fixed a bug where dot skills used by warriors were not dealing the correct amount of damage to enemy warriors. Good to hear, that's a double-edged sword, but that's fine. Fixed a bug where ancestral archers summoned by autumnal archer would not die when the allied totem they are protecting was destroyed. Good. If you're, that's on the enemy team, you definitely want those to go away. <laughs> Fix some more visuals that could persist after matches in the Eye of Destiny. Fixed a bug where brand skills cast by totems, traps, or mines were not counting towards the limit of how many brands you can have attached to an enemy. Oh no. <laughs> Did someone, like, infinite brand murder an uber or something? Because that's what that sounds like. <laughs> Fixed a bug where avenging flame projectiles triggered by flamewood support, one of the new support gems that was added this league, were checking evasion instead of spell dodge. Ah, okay. So... This will mean that your Flamewood support will be doing more damage than before. Because most monsters don't have access to spell dodge, but evasion is actually quite common for them. Fixed a bug with Eldritch Altars in the Lava Lake map. Fixed a bug with Global Illumination over brightening things. Fixed a bug where Maven created clones of map bosses could be invisible. That is awful. <laughs> Fixed a bug where the beams in the Xenothar and Uhtred fights could be mostly invisible. Okay, that sounds awful. Glad they fixed it. Fixed a visual bug where passive skill could incorrectly display behind passive skills when you had a cluster jewel socketed into the large jewel socket in the top left hand corner of the passive tree. Very oddly specific. <laughs> fixed a bug with the sound of some of Peruna the Challenger's skills could be unaffected by the volume slider. I think I've encountered that. Not good. <laughs> Fixed flickering issue with one of Sirius's skills. Fixed a visual bug with one of the skills used by Primal Timoral. Wait. 
Oh my god, that's the visual bug we encountered in the Einhar Master Memory video. I'll put a link up to it on screen so you can see how bad it was. But it was really, really bad. <laughs> then fixed three instants and three clients crashes. Good. Okay, so those are patch notes 3.220B. The first major set of patch notes for the league. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. This has been Black Cat Studio. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.